<clears throat> I want to talk about, um, again, math page 1096, and I'm looking at uh, page 7 and page 8. And I just want to clarify a couple of points that are mentioned in the yellow box, but uh, I want to make sure you see them and understand them, okay, before you try to do the problems. Let me get my phone out here and put it on the calculator mode. There we go. <clears throat> so remember from a previous pace, this formula that interest can be calculated by multiplying the principal, that's the amount being borrowed, times the rate and we, it's always, the rate's given as a percent, but we have to convert it into a decimal. And then times the time. I'm going to start here at the end first and uh, talk about that in this pace, at least, uh, it mentions that lending institutions like banks or loan companies will always consider one year to be 12 months or 360 days. Now you say, I think there's 365 days. Yeah, some days have less than 30 days, some have more, but they just use a round number of 360. <clears throat> and then if we're talking about a month, they always assume that every month has 30 days, okay? So that just makes the math a little easier to do. Let me take a sample problem here and see how this affects what we're doing. The other thing that's important to know is that time in these formulas is always in years, okay? So I'm gonna write that up here. <clears throat> or it could be a partial year, or it could be more than a year. So let's see how this plays out here. I'm gonna use the, the 500 as the principal. Um, let me jump here and talk about what we're going to do with the days. 240 days is more than or less than one year? Well, you can see that one year is 360, so we're talking about less than one year. So we're going to write this as a fraction, 20, uh, 240 over 360. And then uh, let's simplify that right away so we can divide... And now uh, let's see, can we divide by four? Would give me uh, six and nine. And then I can divide again, actually you can divide by 12, right? And uh, that would give me two thirds. What am I gonna do with this percent? All right, obviously the principle stays the same. <clears throat> well, you remember that the fraction one fourth could be written as four point. Two, five. And then the rule for transferring or make, turning a uh, percent into a decimal is you always move the decimal twice. Always twice, never more than twice. So I have to move the decimal cha-ching, cha-ching. So I have to add a zero, zero, four, two, five, okay? So once we have all that in there, now you can use your calculator and multiply 500 times this decimal times 2 and then hit equals take that answer and divide by 3 if you want to go the other way you could you could do 2 divided by 3 and your calculator will give you a point six 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 take that times this decimal and times 500 that will give you the interest and then the last question is the total amount repaid so you're borrowing $500 they give you that up front you're paying interest of let's say you know roughly 15 bucks so then the total repaid is going to be 515 or whatever it works out to be all right I'll let you finish because that's actually one of the problems that you have here for homework <clears throat> while we're uh, looking here there is no, I'll stop there I might have one other video about a uh, one more other point I want to clarify on a future page okay